heightened fears that anti-Semitism is on the rise in France, prompting some Jews to consider moving to Israel. On April the 30th, 2007, Israel Today ran this amazing headline story. Rabbi reveals the name of the Messiah. Speaking to you right here from Tel Aviv, Israel. And today we have a special presentation. We are with one of Rabbi Kaduri's disciples who believes that Yeshua is the Messiah of Israel. Rabbi Itzhak Kaduri was famously known for his memorization of the Bible, the Talmud, and other Jewish writings. He was a teacher and a revered master at Nahalat Yitzhak Yeshiva Seminary. He knew Jewish sages and celebrities of the last century and rabbis who lived in the Holy Land who kept the faith alive before the state of Israel was even born. Kaduri was not only highly esteemed because of his age of 108, but he was charismatic and wise. Chief rabbis looked up to him as a righteous man. Thousands visited him to ask for counsel or healing. His followers speak of many miracles and his students say that he was a prophet. We are with one of Rabbi Kaduri's disciples who believes that Yeshua is the Messiah of Israel. And before we meet our new friend, Eliyahu, I'd like to take this opportunity to explain to the viewers around the world who Rabbi Kaduri was. Rabbi Kaduri was one of the uh, big known rabbis here in Israel. He, he had a lot of influence on the government. He had influence on other rabbis. He was one of the top leaders. And he passed away several years ago at the age of 108 years old. A few months before Kaduri died at the age of 108, he surprised his followers when he told them that he had personally met the Messiah. The Messiah had appeared to him. He wrote the name of the Messiah in a note, he said. His official website had mentioned the Messiah note. David Kaduri, the rabbi's 80-year-old son, confirmed that in his last year, his father had talked and dreamed almost exclusively about the Messiah and his coming. My father has met the Messiah in a vision, he said and he told us that he was coming very soon. Rabbi Kaduri um, has told his son several times that he had an encounter with the Messiah of Israel, but did not say who that Messiah was. In the Day of Atonement, Yom Kippur, Rabbi Kaduri gave a message in the synagogue saying that the Messiah is coming and only through his blood will we ever have redemption of sins. He passed away and he left a note not to be opened only one year after his burial. The note was opened, it caused a riot here in Israel when the note said that Yeshua is the Messiah of Israel. Praise God. Kaduri gave a message in his synagogue on Yom Kippur, the Day of Atonement, teaching how to recognize the Messiah. He also mentioned that the Messiah would appear to Israel after Ariel Sharon passed. When Kaduri died, January the 28th, 2006, more than 200,000 people joined the funeral procession on the streets of Jerusalem to pay their respects as he was taken to his final resting place. Shortly before he died, this teacher of Israel wrote the name of the Messiah on a small note which he requested would remain sealed for one year. One year later, the note was opened in 2007. When the note was opened, it read as follows. Concerning the letter abbreviation of the Messiah's name, he will lift the people and prove that his word and law are valid. The Hebrew sentence with the hidden name of the Messiah reads like this. The acronym of that sentence, that is the letter abbreviation that Kaduri spoke of, or the first initials of each word, spell the Hebrew name of Jesus or Yehoshua, or Yeshua, the Hebrew root word of salvation. Well, first of all, I'd like to introduce to you Eliyahu, who is a disciple of Rabbi Kaduri. Shalom lecha Eliyahu. Shalom Zev. Hi Eliyahu, how are you? Ma shalomcha? Wa nishma, ma shalomcha. Akol b'seder, toda li Yeshua, toda la el. Toda la el, toda li Yeshua. Amen. And um, I'm going to ask you a question first in English. Why, why did you agree to come over here on the internet, on television, and actually, um, you know, show your face in public and say that Yeshua is a Messiah? Madu ata iskanta be'etzem levo po la internet, la televizia, nachem loydim kama alafim, milyonim mitzvu b'ze, be'etzem lachriz shi Yeshua Mashiach Yisrael. 
אני למדתי בישיבה של הרב כדורי, הוא גם האמין ביהושע. אני למדתי בישיבה של רב כדורי, הוא גם האמין ביהושע. אבל הוא לא יכל להגיד את זה בפומבי. אבל הוא לא יכל להגיד את זה בפומבי, אבל הוא לא יכל להגיד את זה בפומבי. And I was one of the students, so I always used to go around and tell everybody Yeshua is the Messiah. And I had a lot of conversations with people when Yeshua was the Messiah. I had a lot of debates with people that wouldn't agree that Yeshua is the Messiah, but he, he continued, Eliyahu continued to say that Yeshua is the Messiah of Israel. Because Yeshua was the blood of his blood. Because Yeshua was crucified and his blood ואדם שלו חיפר על כל האנשים בעולם. And his blood is redemption for man's sins, all man's sins. כי שום נביא לא נצלב, חוץ מיהושע. Nobody's blood could be crucified, only Yeshua did it. ובגלל שיהושע נצלב, ואדם שלו מחפר על כל האנשים בעולם. And because Yeshua was crucified and his blood redeems all people who believe in him. אז הוא המשיח, so he is the Messiah, והוא יגאל אותנו, and he will save us, ומהרה רק יהושע, הללויה, הללויה, הללויה. Well, he's excited as you can see, uh, hallelujah, Yeshua is hallelujah, the way and Yeshua. salvation. When the name of Yehoshua appeared in Kaduri's message, ultra-Orthodox Jews from his seminary in Jerusalem argued that their master must not have left the exact solution for decoding the Messiah's name. The revelation received scant coverage in the Israeli media. Only the Hebrew websites, News First Class and Kaduri.net mentioned the Messiah's note, both of them insisting that it was authentic. Israel Today spoke to two of Kaduri's followers in Jerusalem who admitted that the note was authentic, but very confusing for his followers as well. We have no idea how the rabbi got to this name of the Messiah, one of them said. I know this. The answer of the identity of the Messiah as Jesus, given to Kaduri supposedly, is absolute truth. As such, I believe it had to have been revealed from Jesus himself appearing to Kaduri, much the same as Jesus appeared to the Jewish Pharisee, Paul, on the road to Damascus 2,000 years ago. It is amazing that the leading Jewish teacher of Israel until 2006 would, on his deathbed, proclaim in a message that Jesus Christ is the Messiah and is soon to return. We are with another one of Rabbi Kaduri's students who is a rabbi and has taught in the yeshiva of Rabbi Kaduri and believes that Yeshua is the Messiah of Israel. Hallelujah. And we are going to meet our new friend, our new believer in Yeshua, David. Shalom Lecha David. Shalom Zeh. Thank you for coming here and, and willing to share your faith. Toda shebata lepo vebata lachlok et haimuna. Toda rabba lachem. Shesh li ta izdamnut liot itchem velomar et ma shesh li lomar shesh li lomar shesh li lomar shesh li I'm here to, to tell the truth and I want to thank you for giving me this opportunity. ודוד רציתי לשאול אותך בעצם מדוע אתה בעצם רצית לבוא לפה, why did you want to come here? Uh, we know, אנחנו יודעים שאלפים, אולי מיליונים, maybe thousands, maybe millions will watch this on the internet, באינטרנט, ואולי גם בטלוויזיה, maybe also on TV. למה רצית לבוא לחלוק את האמונה שלך? Why did you want to come here and share your faith? מכיוון שישוע הוא המשיח. Because ישוע is the Messiah, הללויה. ושישנם ארגונים במדינה. And there are organizations in, in Israel, in the country. שרודפים אחרי יהודים שמאמינים בישוע. That persecute Jews who believe in Yeshua the Messiah. ועוד דבר חשוב. And something also important that I want to emphasize. שיהודי אמיתי זה יהודי שמאמין בישוע. I want to say that a real Jew is a Jew who believes in Yeshua. Hallelujah. 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 And a voice inside of me said that Psalms 2. הוא יהושע, הוא יהושע המשיח. He is Yeshua the Messiah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. hallelujah. And I remember, אני זוכר שאנחנו למדנו שעות, אנחנו 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 למדנו שעות, אנחנו
been that God had a son. And praise God that God opened your eyes. Elohim patach et Do you remember? Yeah, he wants to uh, uh, read the the part of Psalms 2, Tehillim Bet, that opened him to the revelation. That opened my whole, the whole world, and opened the light for me. Look at Shah, please. He's quoting from Psalms 2, Tehillim Bet. Blessed are those who take refuge in the sun. Hallelujah. Blessed are those who take refuge in him. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You know, I'm excited about this. I'm excited about this. I'm excited about this. I, I feel goosebumps all over. What a few, you know, I can't even explain what I'm going through with. But there is a prophetic twist uh, to this whole story. Uh, tell us about uh, the connection between uh, Ariel Sharon and uh, this, uh, this possibly the most famous rabbi that has lived in the last 100 years. Yeah, the, the rabbi's name, of course, was Yitzhak Kaduri. Uh, Sharon went into a coma in 2006, January. 2006 and Yitzhak Kaduri died in January of 2006 uh, so they both uh, suffered greatly uh, within the very same month of the very same year but just before Rabbi Yitzhak Kaduri, Kaduri died he, he made two startling statements number one was that he had had a vision of the Messiah Messiah had appeared to him and he knew who the Messiah was he knew his real name and he was leaving the name of the Messiah in a death note that is it was to be opened one year after his death the second astounding thing that he said was is that it had been revealed to him that uh, Messiah would not return would not appear would not come until after Ariel Sharon had died now that was a shocking statement when when this rabbi made that statement uh, Ariel Sharon was still alive and he was the 11th Prime Minister of Israel but within weeks of Rabbi Yitzhak Kaduri making that statement Ariel Sharon had a stroke and went into a coma that lasted eight years and seven days and uh, within a few weeks after that uh, Yitzhak Kaduri who was 108 years old at the time he went into the hospital with pneumonia and died in January of 2006. Right. And of course, in January, March, April, right in there of 2007, the note was opened. It was put on Kaduri's website, and it proclaimed uh, in a cryptid way, uh, and they had to decrypt the message, but it, it proclaimed in a coded way that the name of the Messiah was uh, Yeshua, or Jesus. And so, you know, prophecy buffs around the world for eight years have been following this story, uh, listening to this rabbi uh, to have had a vision similar to what the Apostle Paul had apparently uh, proclaiming that Jesus was the real Messiah but that it had also been revealed to him that the Messiah would not come until Ariel Sharon had died so for eight years prophecy, prophecy buffs have been watching what you know many would consider to be almost impossible that a man would be in a coma and living for eight solid years. Interestingly, at the beginning of the seventh year, January of 2013, uh, it was reported in major news media around the world that Sharon might be on the verge of waking up because his brainwave right. activity was was yeah. displaying some uh, some pretty positive results. So this has been an amazing eight years, eight years and seven days. Uh -huh. He went into a coma on the on the fourth of January, and he died on the eleventh of January. Interestingly, he died on a Jewish Sabbath. On the Sabbath, he died that's on, right, yeah. Yes, he sure did, yeah. Uh, Zev Parat has been using your best-selling book, The Rabbi Who Found Messiah, to lead uh, Jews, Arabs, uh, even the Chinese. He takes a book to China, and, and uh, he's using that book there to lead the Chinese to the Lord. Um, uh, but there was a, um, wasn't there an e-book published, uh, uh, subsequently to the publishing of the, the rabbi book the rabbi who found messiah it has gone bestseller on amazon right oh yeah yeah thank you so much for having me on mike yeah i've been very very blessed you know the rabbi who found messiah i, I don't it was in the top several hundred out of 17 million books on amazon for for weeks and weeks actually months and uh here we are several years later 
And uh, the book not only is still a bestseller in several categories on Amazon out of many, many thousands of books, but it has been translated into six different languages now. And of course, it was made into a documentary movie uh, by uh, George Escobar, the producer, who pr produced uh, Alone But Not Alone, a major motion picture that was at the theaters, uh, I think, last year, the year before last. And, and he also produced the Isaiah 910 prophecy. So, and that movie, uh, the Rabbi that found Messiah movie from the book, has been translated into Hebrew and Spanish, or at least there are subtitles in Hebrew and Spanish. So, yeah, the book has just gone all over the world. Death Parat has been a huge part of making that happen, uh, especially, as you just said, in Israel and in China. He's also been interviewed on German television. Right. And, 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 quite extensively in Germany uh, spoke of the book and had the book yeah. and held it up and showed them on German television and, and gave the testimony of the whole story and the tie-in that he and his family have to that story. So it has been an amazing ride and, and God is still using it and uh, I, I think it's very significant in these in these prophetic times in which we're living, Mike. And the and the uh, the book is now an e book and are there why was there there have there been changes made to that e book to reflect uh, the work of yeah. Zev Parat? Yeah, actually yes, because see here's the thing. There, there's now, I wrote an epilogue for the book. I think it's about 30 pages, and that was added to the, uh, to the uh, Kindle edition, the ebook edition. Uh, it has not been added to the hardcover edition. That would have required a complete resetting and reprinting. Um, but, uh, and the book has already been through several reprintings from the beginning, just in its original format, uh, but uh, because of its popularity. But yes, um, because so many things happened after the book was put out. Right. And so many attacks, uh, a lot of attacks came against it from the Orthodox Jewish community. That opened up a lot of doors, actually, for, for the message to go out even further. And when the message did go out, then, then Jews started getting saved in Israel. And yeah. as you said, uh, people in China and the underground church, people started getting saved there. And, and uh, so, yeah, I wrote an epilogue for it. and. And you know, it really needs another one, because since right. I wrote that 30-page epilogue, uh, even more stuff has happened. So it's a story that just won't stop. It just keeps going, and I, I see the hand of God all over it. It's quite an amazing story. The Rabbi who found Messiah, the story of Yitzhak Kaduri. And his blood is redemption for man's sins, all man's sins. Kishum Navi lo Nobody's blood could be crucified, only Yeshua did. And because Yeshua was crucified and his blood redeems all people who believe in him. So he is the Messiah. And he will save us. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Well, he's excited as you can see. Uh, hallelujah, Yeshua is hallelujah, the way of salvation. Yeshua.